Greetings. It's a delight to meet you all once again during this Advent season as we prepare for another Christmas in the year of our Lord, 2023. The one image that stands out the strongest at Christmas is of the Holy Family in Bethlehem, what we commonly call a nativity scene. Mary and Joseph look down lovingly on the infant Jesus who lays in a cradle of straw. They are often accompanied by barn animals, shepherds who came to see what the angels had announced to them, and wise men or magi who followed a new star in the sky that led them to the eternal light on earth. That light was a small babe in a manger. At the center of this whole scene is, of course, the Holy Family, Joseph, Mary, and the infant Jesus. We should not think of the Holy Family only in Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. They were also to be found in Nazareth, where Jesus lived as a young boy and came of age. In early January 1964, Pope Paul VI made a historic pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Never before had a Pope left Rome in order to visit the place of Christ's birth and life, death and resurrection. Among the many events and historic meetings that marked this trip, he visited and reflected on Nazareth, Jesus' family home. While in Nazareth, the Holy Father reflected on three values of family life. I'd like to speak of these very briefly in this message. The first is the value of silence. Pope Paul imagined Jesus' family life as, as one of silence, not total, of course, but a pervading tone of quiet and peace, wherein Jesus could reflect and pray. Far from the noise and clamor that often fills our days, Jesus would have formed an interior life, a life of the heart, where God his Father could speak to him and lead him to deepen and appreciate his identity as Son of God. For us too, the spiritual life grows and develops in silence. The second value is family life itself. The family is the building block of society, we say, a community of love and sharing. In the words of Pope Paul, beautiful for the problems it poses and the rewards it brings, the perfect setting for rearing children. The third value of family life is work and the discipline it entails. Jesus took on the trade of his earthly father Joseph, a carpenter. It is by honest work that we fashion our life and build up society. While not an end in itself, Pope Paul reminded us that work has its own dignity. As we build and fashion both physical and spiritual realities that make life possible, we take just pride and comfort in our labor. As we approach this Christmas season, I wish each of you, your family and loved ones, my warmest heartfelt greetings. May this season be a time for us all to reflect on the values of family life as we join together with loved ones and celebrate not only the coming of our Lord, but also the Holy Family that raised him, protected him, and nourished him. May you and all whom you love and cherish enjoy peace and harmony during this season and well into the new year, 2024. Je vous souhaite chacun et chacune un joyeux Noël et une bonne et heureuse année.